Welcome digital asset fans. We're going to dive into some bullish info for the assets talked about on this channel. Whether you're an XDC fan, XRP, or XLM fan, you're not going to want to miss this video. Three of the world's largest financial market infrastructures, the DTCC, Clearstream, and Euroclear, are in collaboration with Boston Consulting Group. They unveiled a new blueprint to build a digital asset ecosystem. So we're going to dive into that. Also, we're going to connect the DTCC to multiple networks that tells us the massive utility on the horizon. So if you're an XRP, XLM, or XDC fan, you come to the right video, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe. Digital Asset Securities. This was put out by Legal Head Financial Markets at Standard Charter Bank, John Ho. Amid the rapid evolution in distributive ledger technology and digital asset securities, Three of the world's largest financial market infrastructures, DTCC, Clearstream, and Euroclear, in collaboration with Boston Consulting Group, unveiled a new blueprint to build a digital asset ecosystem for the industry and a new white paper, Building the Digital Asset Securities Ecosystem. Here are some key takeaways. By 2030, the tokenization of global and liquid assets is projected to be a $16 trillion business opportunity. Yet progress on institutional adoption has reached an inflection point as firms fail to progress or prioritize broad ecosystem development. New white paper from DTCC, Clearstream, and Euroclear outlines the Digital Asset Securities Control Principles, or DASCP, serving as a guide to navigate the current challenges and foster operational excellence in financial markets driven by DLT. These six DASCP principles aim to promote the successful adoption of tokenization and digital asset securities, right there, digital asset securities, excluding cryptocurrencies. The assets that are talked about on this channel are specializing in tokenization of illiquid assets. It continues here and details a comprehensive set of risk management controls to underpin the future of digital markets. The principles serve as a set of guidelines underpinning their collective resolve to uphold the highest standards of integrity, security, and interoperability. This framework is crucial for creating an inclusive, resilient financial ecosystem that is adaptable, adaptable to techn technological advancements and responsive to diverse market needs. The DASCP marks a starting point for further industry-wide engagement to enable standardization, drive adoption, and unlock value. Achieve these goals DTCC, Clearstream, and Euroclear intend to put these principles in action by leveraging them in their digital asset activities. They will effectively demonstrate to clients, regulators, and a broader industry that digital asset securities can be just as safe and secure as traditional assets. Ultimately, they believe that industry collaboration is not only the most expedient way, but also the most effective way to build a robust global digital asset ecosystem. So the DASCP framework, these guidelines seem to be beneficial to the networks that are talked about on this channel. They're not just cryptocurrencies. These digital assets specialize in not only tokenization of commodities, but also securities. And it states here that we believe the DASCP framework is a foundational starting point for promoting DAS or digital asset security adoption and provides a valuable baseline for the industry, guiding the market towards digital asset securities adoption. With DAS set to transform securities trading and ownership, we are dedicated to clarifying the complexities surrounding these digital innovations and offering insights into how they can enhance the uh, conventional securities market, addressing challenges and crafting solutions for digital asset securities. The transition to DAS introduces various challenges from regulatory hurdles to issues of interoperability. Through DASCP framework, they aim to offer a blueprint and address these challenges, setting the stage for digital asset security, standardization, and interoperability. How many times we've we've heard that that is important? <laughs> for DAS to fully realize the potential, establishing industry-wide standards and ensuring interoperability are vital. This includes engaging not only market participants but also policymakers and regulatory bodies to ensure that the standards align with both industry needs and regulatory frameworks. DASCP 
lays the foundation for this comprehensive engagement aiming to develop standards that facilitate both market growth and regulatory compliance. This collaborative approach is crucial for ensuring the framework's effectiveness and long-term viability of digital asset securities in the global market. Fostering industry collaboration for digital asset securities integration. The successful integration of digital asset securities necessitates joint efforts across the financial ecosystem. We emphasize the importance of collaboration among regulators, technology providers, and financial institutions to establish a co cohesive framework that supports the secure, efficient circulation of digital asset securities. Inspiring innovation and future exploration in digital asset securities looking beyond immediate applications. They are eager to explore the broader possibilities that the DAS offers uh, for transforming security markets and unlocking incremental value for the industry. Now hold on, I'm going to show you a really interesting clip that connects everything together with not only the DTCC, but Securency, how they're leveraging technology of multiple networks, the ones that are talked about on this channel. Case study overview, you have major steps here, the principle, risk, and control. There's a lot to go over here, so I'm going to put this in the description, but I want to go over this briefly. Description of major steps. Here are the major steps. Asset tokenization. An asset manager issues a private security, such as a private equity fund, which is then tokenized on a private blockchain by a custodian. What does that sound like? Token transfer. The custodian moves newly created PE private equity tokens from the private ledger to a public permission ledger for wider distribution. You also have KYC enforcement. As tokens are distributed, KYC compliance checks are performed to ensure all investors meet regulatory standards despite the change in blockchain. Money market fund issuance. Money market fund tokenization for lending, collateral debt, lending pool transactions, and automated lending operations. Now to connect some dots, this is extremely bullish. DTCC acquired Securency last year. Well, Securency's protocol can be utilized on the Ethereum, Ripple, Stellar, XDC network, EOS, and other distributive ledgers, as well as on legacy systems, allowing for seamless on-chain and off-chain movement of tokens. This is a great clip from 707 Crypto. Here is the head of digital assets for the DTCC. Institutional markets are joining in on the crypto digital finance revolution. And according to her, it's bigger than just tokenization. It's not just tokenization. You've got real world assets and you've got uh, the, uh, the digitized assets that go with it. So we've got to compare and contrast and bring those together because an investor, an institutional investor is going to have both. Now, what's really fascinating with the era that we're going through right now is for the first time in our history, this revolution, whether it's crypto, it's digital technologies, everything, it's been led by the retail side, right? So it's taken a while for the institutional side to catch up, and we're starting to see the winds change here in a good way. You mentioned as well, we had a banner week last week. We got Fit21 passed. We had uh, the ETH uh, spot uh, ETFs uh, approved. Uh, at least the applications got approved. So this is all trending in the right direction. And uh, I think it's like the foliage. One morning you're going to wake up and you're going to see everything in blue. And it's my expectation that we'll continue to trot around until we... Check this out, everybody. Starting today, Decent Wallet is running an amazing almost too good to be true, Ethereum ETF approval special. Use the links in the description. If you buy the one wallet, it's $159 off the original price. It's only $99. If you get the two package deal, it's only $179. That's an incredible $318 off. It's too good to be true. Now, if you haven't purchased a hardware wallet to keep your valuable assets off the exchanges, and safe from hackers or an exchange going down, this is the time to do it during this special offer. There is no time to waste. The event ends June 2nd. Enjoy.